All right, you beautiful people. I'm getting lots of people asking me about how Saxenda and Ozempic or Wagovi actually work. How do they help us in supporting our weight? And in case you forgot, my name is Dr. Dan. I'm a pharmacist turned obesity expert, and well, this is my area of expertise. All right, Saxenda, Ozempic, or Wagovi, these are what we call GLP-1 receptor agonists. Now, GLP-1 is a hormone that's naturally produced by the body. So when we have a receptor agonist, what that means is that they bind to the receptor that GLP-1 already binds to. Essentially, these guys are the GLP-1 hormone. And what they do is they bind to the receptor and they have the same activity that GLP-1 naturally has within our body. So what does GLP-1 do in the body? So GLP-1 has a couple of things that it does. First and foremost, it goes to our pancreas and it's, you can say it massages our pancreas. It increases the efficiency of it in producing insulin. It helps to preserve our beta cells, the cells that produce insulin, and that can help us to ultimately create more insulin to bring our blood sugar levels down. The next thing it does is it goes to our liver and it tells our liver to shut down sugar production because it's a signal that gets released or a hormone that gets released when our body, when we eat food. So if it's going to the liver and shutting down sugar production, it's because, well, hey, there's, there's no need for extra sugar to be produced. We've got food coming into the system so you can shut down that mechanism. Now it's via those two things as to how these drugs actually help to regulate our blood sugars and to bring our blood sugar levels down. Now the beautiful thing is, is that this mechanism shuts off when your blood sugar levels are normal. So if you don't have diabetes, that is why you don't have a chance of going hypo or having a low blood sugar level. The next thing that these drugs do is they go to our stomach and they slow down how quickly food moves from our stomach to our small intestine. We call this the slowing of gastric emptying. Now this is a side effect as well because this is transient, it'll go away after a period of time once your body gets used to the medication. But the slowing of how quickly food goes from your stomach to your small intestine is primarily where a lot of the side effects come from. In particular, those are things like nausea, heartburn, constipation, diarrhea, and in very rare instances if you overeat on this medication, you can vomit because food's not going down as quickly, you overeat, you overconsume, the only way that food is going to go is right back up. Okay, so that's the main side effects that come from this slowing of gastric emptying. As I said, and I really want to stress, this isn't the main weight loss effect. It seems like it at first because you just can't eat as much, but this will go away. Now, the final thing that GLP-1 does and the way that it actually acts for helping us to manage our weight is it acts in our brain, in the mesolimbic reward centers of the brain. This is the part of our brain that drives us to go out and seek food, to want food, to crave food, and that sort of thing. So it dampens down that signaling pathway in the brain, and so it decreases your food-seeking behavior. It helps us to create what I call kind of a gap or a space so that you can have a better chance of choosing the apple over the apple pie. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works, is it decreases those wanting a drive for food.